Welcome back to the David Pakman Show. All right, we're back with comedian Jeff Chrysler, who is sitting in front of books that I think he hopes we all believe he read every single one of. Right, Jeff? I read all of them, particularly this one right here called Get Rich Cheating, which is my book. <laughs> you know, Lewis, last week, as you know, I was on RT, the, the Alona show. And I was talking about Sarah Palin, and every time I get invited on these things, I feel like I need material. I almost feel like I need to be on in some way. So I emailed Jeff, and I said, hey, can you throw me some lines here? And he did. He, he gave me a lot of great stuff. And then you know what happened, Jeff? With, because of our connection, that you don't know, so I'll tell you. They were, while I was talking, they would cut off the host's audio feed so it wouldn't feed back. So I just assumed nobody was laughing. I, I just assumed I was bombing the entire time. So you're pretty much going through my daily existence. Essentially. You know, Jeff, I went, I was in Chicago a couple months ago, and I went to Jeff's uh, wealth-building seminar, so to speak, and he had like an eight-year-old heckler. I don't know what an eight-year-old kid was doing at this 9 p.m. show. That, that was probably the worst heckling experience you had, was it not? Well, it was the most delicate, because normally with hecklers, I try to, you know, start off nice, and I understand they're just trying to be supportive, they don't know not to talk but then eventually you have to go and go darker. But with a nine-year-old, how dark can you go? So eventually, I don't remember exactly what happened, but I, I think I suggested his parents uh, give him up for adoption. I think he had to go to the bathroom, and his mom just escorted <laughs> yeah. him out. Yeah, which is good for all of us. It, it was educational. You know, I don't like it always being easy. It's going to be a challenge sometimes. Jeff was advocating for basically just cheat your way to riches and to the top no matter what. And then I heard about Tom DeLay, who essentially did that. And now it looks like he's going to be in jail. I, I don't really believe for the rest of his life, but potentially for the rest of his life. What did you think? A cheater went down in flames. I think uh, it's kind of a sad day for cheaters everywhere, but I'm sure he'll come back and he'll, he'll get a book deal out of it and probably eventually a TV show. But he was one of the great cheaters. He involved money and politics and bribery. And, you know, Abramoff wasn't involved in this particular conviction. But, I mean, his name, his nickname is The Hammer, which not a lot of people know is because of the ability to hide a lot of money in parachute pants popularized <laughs> by MC Hammer back in the 80s. Uh, see, I was thinking he could do a show from prison on Fox News called The Hammer from the Slammer. Oh, nice. I like that. See, you're getting there. Is that, um, is that material RT worthy? Uh, I think it's definitely RT worthy. It's worthy of even the David Packman show. <laughs> so, what, no, go ahead. I was going to say, what's kind of interesting about the thing with delay is, again, it's another case where it's complex to really understand what he did wrong. So I think the best way to explain it to the lay people out there is it's like he went on Dancing with the Stars, gave money to someone, who then gave money to the Dancing with the Stars judges to advance their Palin's career. Oh, I see. I mean, Bristol Palin, not Sarah Palin. I get those confused because they're the same demon spawn. What do you think about this new Sarah Palin reality show? When I first saw it, I, we were, we've been talking about it. I thought it was just going to be a plus for Sarah Palin because, let's be honest, she's been seen doing stuff she's not qualified to do, right? Running for vice president, being the governor of Alaska. She's actually qualified to be on a reality show. It could only help cut to Willow Palin making homophobic comments on Facebook mm -hmm. as a result. Not all good, right? Well, Sarah Palin, I'm starting to reassess. She could be the most brilliant politician of all time. <laughs> America's becoming a reality show, and I think maybe she's some sort of, like, mythological creature that feeds on uh, people mocking her, and she just grows stronger and stronger. That or she's sort of the, the end of a multi-generational push by the far right to discredit intellectualism and diplomacy and everything else, so... <laughs> Whether she's qualified or not, you know, people wanted Bush because they could drink a beer with him. People could want Sarah because they feel just as lost with everyday activities as she does. Yeah, honestly, George W. Bush now, I think that I would actually approve of George W. Bush as president. Just if, When I think about Sarah Palin as president, George W. Bush seems calm. He seems collected. He has Karl Rove around him instead mm -hmm. of uh, Todd Palin or whatever the guy's name is. He actually seems like a pretty bright, reasonable guy. He's got gravitas, if you will. I mean, you know, there's that old, uh, people talk about old money versus new money. Yeah. George Bush is kind of old idiot versus new idiot. Yeah, and um, I'll be honest, the old idiots thing just seems a lot more calming to me. Yeah, because, you know, behind the old idiot are some old money, whereas behind the new idiot is just uh, bears, <laughs> grizzly bears. <laughs> Which, by the way, she may have been uh, fishing too close to, which who knows what rules in Alaska that may have broken. 
You know, rules are just part of the lamestream media gotcha <laughs> journalism. You know, and bears are just part of the lamestream media gotcha journalism. Got to admit, like, Sarah Palin, in her own way, she's brilliant because, like I told you, she's making millions of dollars on these book deals and TV shows and speaking engagements, and she just can't speak. You know, how brilliant is that? And I think this 2011 is going to be the year of the Palin. And this past year, she supported all these candidates with the laughed out ideas like Christine O'Donnell and right. Sharon Angle. That those people made her seem mainstream. And so, you know, compared to someone who doesn't masturbate in a graveyard while wearing a Nazi uniform, she seems normal. That's right. We can always find someone who seems even more uh, unelectable than than uh, than Sarah Palin, for sure. Uh, we're speaking, by the way, with comedian Jeff Chrysler, author of Get Rich Cheating. Uh, so tell me, what's this gig you've got at the, is it the Economist's Forum? Tell me about it. Uh, the Economist magazine has a conference every year predicting the future. Um, and this is the World in 2011 conference. It actually starts on Thursday, and one of the headline speakers is uh, a guy by the name of Bill Clinton. You may have heard about him. Um, and I'm doing some comedy, going to talk about what I think is going to happen in the next year in business and politics and uh, who knows what else. And it's kind of exciting. It's uh, a really great program with some heavy hitters like Stephen Chu, the head of the Department of Energy, talks about the future in science. Uh, there's going to be people from the MoMA. There's going to be activists and people from television. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool. You know, I'm just going to tell my jokes and, and be part of a little roundtable discussion. But uh, will Bill fun. Clinton will Bill Clinton be at your your uh, your set? I'm not sure. I'm hoping he will be. Yeah. Uh, although I need to find out for certain because some of the predictions for 2011 might not be appropriate, uh, particularly because Bill Clinton apparently made a cameo in that next uh, the sequel to The Hangover. So That's right. I think his one line was, I did not have Galifianakis with that woman. <laughs> <laughs> so See, if, if, the, if the host doesn't laugh, you doesn't make your own laugh track. If he's there, um, it, will you tailor, so you will tailor your material. I mean, will you do Bill Clinton's sexual shtick if he is in the crowd? No, I, I never really did that, and I don't think I would. But, uh, you know, if I decide between now and Friday that I really want to end my career, right. I will go on a blaze of glory. I think there's no better. I would probably come out in a blue dress <laughs> and uh, take it from there. Do you predict? I know that sometimes you have a tendency, and you, you you mention it yourself, to sweat when you perform. Sometimes, do you anticipate that that will be happening at the this event? Well, uh, the sweating has nothing to do with nerves. It's just that I have uh, bird flu, which is actually contagious <laughs> through the internet. I don't know if you're aware of that. Gotcha. Um, I think I probably I might not sweat. I'm only performing for like ten minutes. It's when I've been working hard and. You notice the camera doesn't pan down to the ample guttage. I like that it's like a combination gut cleavage that I have. <laughs> guttage. Sounds like a TSA screening. Yeah, it is. I, uh, I'm looking forward to my next flight. I'm actually going to request both the scanner and the pad down, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Just to be extra sure. Exactly. All right, we've been talking to Jeff Chrysler, author of Get Rich Cheating. And the website, it is still jeffchrysler.com, right? You can go to jeffchrysler.com or getrichcheating.com if you don't want to try to spell Chrysler. Um, but either one directs you to all sorts of goodness, and uh, I'll be putting up some new videos later this week. All right, thanks, Jeff. Good luck on Thursday. Thank you, David. Great show. Good luck. Okay, take care. All right, Lewis, let's take a break, and we'll be back with more. You are not going to want to miss the story about 92% of Afghan men not knowing something. I'll tell you what that is when we come back. DavidPackman.com. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. The David Pakman Show is made possible by listeners like you and by Greenfield Savings Bank, building a strong community one account at a time, with neighborhood offices in Greenfield, Amherst, Conway, Shelburne Falls, South Deerfield, and Turner's Falls, and online at greenfieldsavings.com. By the Daily Hampshire Gazette and gazettenet.com, connecting our communities with local news and information. By DIF Design, specializing in custom business websites at difdesign.com. Find out more about underwriting The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. 